What is going on everyone out there on YouTube? Welcome to the video. My name is Brando Linick. Hey there. And you're searching for how to start a photo booth business. It's a really good search and in fact this is going to be pretty much a breakdown of the business model sharing with you really critical information you have to know about a photo booth business so by the end of this video uh, you can make an informed decision and having gotten around personally myself all right, over the last you know, couple years, gotten around people who've started very successful photo booth businesses and also people who've started, you know, photo booth businesses and not made that much money, not had very much success. The first thing I'll tell you is unless you are looking at this, all right, because you have a super passion for, you know, phot photography, um, I would advise you if you're looking at it mainly because, you know, it's a simple business to start, which it is, and you know you can make money at it, all right, which you can, all right. If you're looking at it because of those two things, and also because you just want to be your own boss, you want to do what you want to do when you want to do it. Some of the things that are required with a photo booth business, like dealing with supplies, equipment, um, you know, employees, depending on if you're going to franchise the business model or just run it yourself, which if you're running it yourself, okay, and these are things you've got to be aware of and look at when it comes to starting a photo booth business, asking yourself, are you going to franchise it out? Or are you just going to run it yourself? Because if you are running it yourself, that means if you're sick, if you want to take a vacation, all right, your business and income will stop. And it's just something to be aware of, okay? And yes, you can get photo booth businesses and uh, photo booth mobile ones where you can just plop in the, in the middle of nowhere and then you can walk off. However, the amount of money that you'll be making from those are very slim. Having friends who've done, you know, both approaches, who've had their own photo, uh, you know, booth business where they take pictures for kids, uh, you know, families, uh, birthdays, graduation, all right, school, all that stuff, and they've been able to establish a good business out of that. And I've had people who have also uh, been able to do it where they just plop, you know, mobile photo booths they, where you can walk in, close the curtain, and take a photo with your friends. And both approaches do require um, work, all right? And one's not really consistent, which is the mobile one, all right, where you're plopping them in the middle of nowhere. And like I said, if you're looking at this because you really just want to be your own boss, you want to do what you want to do when you want to do it, due to the overhead and the workload associated with a photo booth business, all right, whether it's for kids, graduation, family, uh, just portraits, okay, the process, it can be a little bit of a headache dealing with supplies, equipment, employees, a storefront, all right, and maintaining that on a monthly basis. And if you're looking at it only because you want to be your own boss, I've got a tip I want to give you in this video before you consider it, all right? And if you hear me out here for a minute, my experience with this goes back over the last year. When I transitioned from a traditional business to an internet business, I actually came across a person who was building a business online. And because they're doing it without any of that overhead, dealing with supplies, equipment, employees, without having to rely on just themselves, okay? So if they were sick, they could still maintain their income and grow their business because it was on the internet. And because they were doing that, I started to model and copy what they're doing. They're making uh, more money every single month than I was making in a whole year, and it was attractive to me. And in less than 30 days, not average, not typical results, I was able to create a full-time income business modeling what they shared with me with their permission uh, in that period of time. And, you know, not average, not typical results. I want to reemphasize that because it did require work. I had to learn some things, but the cool part was I didn't have to deal with that overhead associated with the photo booth business, all right? And I didn't have to make it so it was all based around myself, okay? Where when I was producing, I would make money, and if you don't produce, you don't make money as you would experience if you're not franchising out a photo booth business, all right? So these are just questions you got to ask yourself, and I figured I'd share this with you in addition to uh, you asking those questions. And if you are looking at this because you want to be your own boss, you want to run your own business, and you want to create true leverage and flexibility that's really what you're looking for to create true leverage and flexibility building a business to you know get the results that you want I would suggest and throw at you uh, learn how to build a business on the internet learn how to build an income on the internet where you can do those things because it's the most profitable highly lucrative tool uh, you could utilize especially in today's day and age so my friend I appreciate you for coming by it's been fun talking with you I look forward to seeing your success story whatever road you take after this video and if you'd like to learn more about how to build a business on the internet if you're coachable if you're trainable willing to learn some things connect with me on my site check it out after it's 123marketingtips.com I'll put a link down below and uh, I'll see you on the beaches of the world take care